Hello and welcome to this AB Tutor video. AB Tutor allows you to easily turn your client computers on and off at the click of a button and in this video I'm going to run through the details of how to do that. Much like log off in the last video, reboot and shutdown allow you to show the user a warning message and give them the option to cancel the operation before it triggers. However, if the display countdown message box is left unticked, the command will trigger as soon as you send it. The warning and override options are useful for shutting all the computers down at the end of the day because it means that if a computer is still in use, the user can select to keep it turned on, but any unused machines will be powered off. This can also be done on a schedule through policies. The drop down menu allows you to select any previously used messages. These old messages can be deleted by selecting them, then right clicking and selecting remove, or selecting remove all to wipe the list. Shutdown has a few extra options. You can select whether the computer does a full power off, or whether it suspends to sleep mode or hibernates to disk. For sleep and hibernate, you can also choose whether to log the current user off or not. For shared computers, you would want to ensure this is ticked, however, if you're just powering machines off to save power, you may want to leave the user logged on to ensure they don't lose any work. Finally, when powering off a computer, you can prompt Windows to install updates during shutdown. Please note that not ticking this box doesn't guarantee Windows won't do updates. Sometimes they're forced by the operating system and we can't prevent them from being applied. Once you've turned a computer off, you may want to turn it back on again. AB Tutor can do this using Wake on LAN, which sends a specially formed packet from the central server and the console to the client. Please ensure that you have enabled Wake on LAN on the client machines before using this feature. To turn clients on, select them and then select the Power On option in the Actions panel. This will start the computer up. Please note that this option is not available for computers which are already turned on and connected to the server, so the button will be greyed out. If you can't see the computer you want to turn on, please make sure that Show Offline is selected at the, at the bottom of the main window. If it is active, the button will appear pressed, highlighted in blue and the device icon will be grey. You can also right click on a group and select the option there to power on all machines in a group at once. If you would like to schedule powering on computers in a group, right click on the group, select Properties and Wake on LAN. From here, tick Enable Wake on LAN Scheduling and click Add Wake Time. You can now specify which days you would like these devices to wake and set the time that they will do so. To get different times on different days, simply click Add Wake Time again and repeat the previous steps with a new time. If you wish to temporarily turn this automatic startup off, for example during school holidays, you can simply untick Enable Wake on LAN Scheduling and the schedule will be postponed. The day and time settings will be kept for when the schedule is turned on again, but you can click the bin icon to delete an entry. Finally on the Wake on LAN tab, we have an option to override what broadcast IP the Wake on LAN packets are sent to. This helps in cases where the central server is on a different subnet to the clients. If your network supports cross-subnet broadcasting, then you can use this to send the wake packets to the correct place. I hope that this video has been useful and has covered everything you need to know about turning computers on and off remotely. However, if you have any questions, please let us know by emailing support at abtutor.com and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.